Good morning from Scottsdale, Arizona. It is currently 4.15 in the morning. Let's go take this Phenom 100 on a cross country trek. 41,000 feet, we're gonna hit up Galveston, Texas, and then over to Opelaka in Miami, Florida. Let's get going. I can be a so and I'm gonna take a trail in the world. I can love you. Yeah, I'm gonna love you. All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome aboard the Phenom 100 EV. We are here in Scottsdale, Arizona, doing a cross-country, well, in this case, intercontinental trek. So, uh, Peyton, what's going on this morning? Uh, yeah, airplane's going to Brazil. We're delivering the airplane to Brazil for the buyer of the airplane. First day is today. It's been three months in the making with uh, a lot of work and a lot of people and a lot of, a lot of work. <laughs> international stuff that we got to deal with, but it's all, it's all set and done now. But going to Brazil tomorrow, hopefully. So this is day one. Awesome. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't make it all the way down there, so I'm hopping off today in Miami and catching a flight back to Phoenix tonight. But nonetheless, this is going to be an awesome, awesome trip. We're going to Galveston, Texas this morning, and then continuing right on afterwards after getting some fuel over to Opelaka in Miami. Going to keep the cameras with Peyton. He's going to film some, uh, some of the arrivals. We're going into St. Martin, if you guys have ever been to Maho Beach, that famous beach where the planes fly at 50 feet right over the beach. That's where they're landing tonight. So that's going to be some awesome footage. I'll insert some clips of that later on in the video. But for now, sit back, relax, enjoy this video. Let's go. Scottsdale traffic. Phenom 151 Golf Sierra coming out of gate one. We're taxiing to runway three via Alpha. Scottsdale. Hey, Phoenix, good morning. Phenom 151 Golf Sierra. Phenom 151 Golf Sierra, Phoenix approach. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, we're uh, taxiing out in Scottsdale. Uh, we've got uh, the weather and we're looking for IFR to Galveston. Yeah. One Gulf Sierra, you cleared to the Galveston Airport as filed. I'm going to maintain 5,000. Expect flight level 410, five minutes after departure. Departure frequency will be 119.2, squawk 2650, hold for release. All right, cleared to Galveston as filed. 5,410 in five minutes. Departure is 192, is the squawk. 151 Gulf Sierra will hold for release. You know, one Gulf Sierra, read back correct, and you just advise on this frequency when you're ready to go. Thank you. And Phoenix, uh, 151 Golf Sierra, we're ready to go in Scottsdale. And I'm on Golf Sierra, release for departure, report airborne. Roger. We're cleared on the right, clear on the left. No. Scottsdale traffic, Phoenix, right 151 Golf Sierra, we're taking runway 3. That will be a left turnout, Scottsdale. That's a, it's a uh, helicopter. Some kind of air ambulance, Got something it. like that, I can see up there. All right, Miami, Florida, and Brazil, here we come. Take off, okay. She agrees, here we go. Let's do it. Speed five. Seventy knots. Three times. Up we go. Tante. Positive rate. One Gulf Sierra on the uh, departure leg, runway three, left turn out departure, last call Scottsdale. Departure, good morning, Phenom 151 Gulf Sierra, 2.4 climbing 5,000, left turn 335. Phenom 151 Gulf Sierra, Phoenix departure, good morning, ident, Phoenix altimeters 29086. Tepper corner, tepper corner, as your ident 1086, one Gulf Sierra. Alright, auto's coming on. Phenom 1 Gulf Sierra, ready to contact two miles north of the uh, Scottsdale airport, I'm gonna maintain flight level 210. I maintain 210, one Gulf Sierra. We're gonna keep it on its tail for now. No need to really go the wrong direction. Go. Going into con climb. See it. Pick up the afters. Gears up. Stops are up. 
Those numbers are happy. They're settling in with the con clam idea. Yaw damper's working. Icing's not required. We're good till 10. Beautiful. All right, guys, well, we're going to climb up to 41. We're going to turn the cameras off for a little bit. Hopefully, they, we get a little more light in here, and we'll uh, catch up with you guys on the descent into Galveston. Peyton, we got some unique uh, features with the ForeFlight app here. Uh, tell us all about it. Yeah, so uh, Trevor over at ForeFlight gave us the trial run of this operation. Really neat software. Um, I usually will use this software here, which is the uh, Phenom software they give you. And you can go in here and type your airport code in and get you know, all, your, all your information. However, the downside to this is, is that you got to input literally everything into it. So you gotta tell the wind direction, you gotta tell the wind speed, you gotta tell how hot it is, how cold it is, etc. With with four flight, you can just go in and hit take off. It pulls all the data off of ADSB or off the weather that you have with the internet. All you gotta tell it is your runway you're using, and it gives you your uh, speeds in the upper center there. Um, they do it for a bunch of airplanes. It does takeoff speeds, but it also does landing speeds. So I've already kind of programmed up Galveston to say, hey, we're gonna use three two. You got one uh, six thousand feet available, and it gives you all your ref speeds in four flight, so you don't have to go out of the screen. That's awesome to change your or get more data. So thank you to our friends at Four Flight for that. It was really cool. Um, we're gonna use it this, ent this entire trip. Um, it has every single airport that I'm flying to uh, in their in their database, and so um, really cool to use it. It's a great software. I recommend it. Um, everyone should uh, should give it a try. Awesome. Yeah, it definitely makes things a lot easier kind of populates everything into into one app so we're not bobbing back and forth between things so definitely awesome stuff from four flight again thank you trevor for everything that you do for us and uh, we appreciate the trial run all right everybody we are back we're on the descent into galveston just descending through twenty eight thousand right now it's starting to get a little bit busy and we've got a weird crossing restriction we're going to be coasting the uh, <laughs> the uh, shoreline of the gulf at around four thousand feet for about 45 miles so uh, definitely some an interesting route to get into Galveston this morning. So you may be wondering, uh, Lep, what kind of sunglasses are you wearing? Well, these are actually Galveston some 16, flying eyes sunglasses. Houston, Those of you guys who know 19, me, you know 19. that I was never, ever a sunglasses person before I got these in my possession. Shout out to the guys at Flying Eyes for hooking it up at Oshkosh. They hooked it up with this pair, and I've been wearing them absolutely everywhere. So go ahead and check out Flying Eyes. Link is down below in the description. Again, these are freaking awesome. Nice thing about them is that the sides that go over your ears are super, super thin. So that way it does not break the headset seal when you put on like a set of A20s like this. It doesn't break that noise cancellation, which is something that always, always discouraged me from wearing sunglasses. But these solved that problem beautifully. They look great. And they feel great. So again, Flying Eyes, link down and below in the description. Go check them out. All right, everybody. We are 50 miles from Galveston, and we're at 6,000 feet, descending to 4,000. Interesting vectors, interesting altitudes that they're giving us, but uh, I guess we'll enjoy uh, the area of Houston down low, I guess, this morning. Approach checklist. Lights are on. Passengers are not applicable. Fuel transfer is not required. Icing is not required. We'll take a visual if we can get it. We'll take a visual if we can get it. One go Sierra. One go Sierra, roger. I expect the visual approach. Uh, so maintain 2,500. All right, down to 2,500. We'll expect the visual. One go Sierra, thanks. I don't, I don't see any towers now. I don't either. And I see where we're going, which makes you feel a lot better. Yep. We got a couple ones in front that are 500 and 300 AGL, but that's it. One go Sierra, by the airport in sight. Uh, it's currently 1 o'clock and 7 miles. We got the airport inside, one go Sierra. From one go Sierra, roger traffic, no factor, cleavage approach, runway 18, contact Galveston Tower, 120.57. Clear for the visual, 18, over to Tower, one go Sierra, thanks, good day. Good day. Taking us to the final approach fix. Cool. Galveston Tower, good morning, Phenom 151, Gulf Sierra, visual 18. Phenom 151, Gulf Sierra, Galveston Tower, wind 250 at 5, runway 18, clear to land. Clear to land, 18, 151, Gulf Sierra, thanks. All right, well, let me do some gear, what do you think? I think so. Start slaughter down. 
slowing down to about 110 or so. Attention, our craft skydiving will commence in three minutes, two miles southwest of the Galveston Airport at 10,000. November 378, the traffic here follows so now in about a mile final. Here, uh, this don't off make that second turn off. We'll, we'll have to go to the end. end. Or if they give us a left on the 1 4, is my, my guess is we'll probably just go to the end. Roger, don't need to burn the brakes out. 6,000 feet here, not plenty of room. Alright, coming down to the glide path. Yep. Yeah. Breath about 500. And yeah, we'll start to settle in. 400. Minimum, minimum. 300. 378, follow that traffic number two, runway 18, clear for the option. Right, this time on the go and make a left traffic. 200. Start to settle on in. Rapid 10. Oh, 100. A bump there to get us over the finish line. Bird, Bird. yep. Nice. Alright, we'll roll to the end. Roger. Welcome to Galveston. 2000. It's kind of cool. Feet on one golf share, turn left at the end. Cross runway 1 4, taxi to park in this frequency. All right, left at the end, uh, cross 1-4 at Alpha, and we'll stay with you, 1-Go, sir. All right, after slaps going up. Strobes are off. Okay, see so yeah, up, it's basically just follow the taxiway all the way in. Happy. And we're clear to cross 1-4. All right, everybody, welcome to Galveston, Texas. Peyton, great job at the landing. That was awesome. We're gonna grab some fuel, go grab some breakfast here in Galveston. Hop back in the Phenom, and we'll make our way down to Opalaco. We'll catch you guys in a bit. Phenom 151 Golf Sierra at the FBO. We got the information. Uh, ready to taxi. Phenom 1 Golf Sierra, runway 32, taxi via Bravo. All right, 32 via Bravo, 1 Golf Sierra. Uh, just, just change it in here real fast to 32. Okay. And ground 1 Golf Sierra will be ready to go at the end. Roger. All right, guys, we are back in the Phenom. About to depart Galveston over to Opalaka. This is when it's going to get fun. Might dodge some storms going into Miami. Phenom 151 Golf Sierra, Galveston Tower, yep. We're here, we're up. Phenom 1 Golf Sierra, turn left heading 250, runway 32, clear for takeoff. Left 250, runway 32, clear for takeoff, 151 Golf Sierra, thanks. Okay, we're all lit up. This looks like 32, looks like it to me. Sierra, contact Houston departure. We'll see you. Over departure, one golf Sierra. Good day. Departure, good morning. Fina, 151 Golf Sierra, 1.1, climbing 2000. So, 151 Golf Sierra, East departure to contact, climbing 7000. Climbing 7000, one golf Sierra. So, one golf Sierra, contact first 127.12. 2712, one golf Sierra. Good day. Heading 170, direct police is later when you tell us 4316. Departure, good morning, Phenom 151, Golf Sierra, 1.7, climbing 7,000. 
Copy now, I'm uh, 151 Golf Sierra Houston Approach. Uh, good afternoon, climb and maintain 10,000, turn right heading 360. 10,000, 360, one Golf Sierra. Air shuttle 6054 contact, Houston Center 128.6 today. 1286, air shuttle 6054. United 1622, contact Houston Center 128.6. Just check on with your speed restriction. Have a good day. 1662, United 16.2, good day. Gears up, laps are up. Altimeters are fine. Ice is required. Up to 10. Oh. United 1014, contact Houston Center 133.8, good day. 133.8, United 1014, someone. Houston for United 16.2, can we get that freak again? Houston for United 16.2. 1622, 128.6. 186, thank you. Number one, Golf Sierra, proceed to Rake Yoakum, hire shortly. Direct Yoakum, one Golf Sierra, thanks. Number one, five one, Golf Sierra, climb and maintain 16,000. Let me tell you, 16,000, one Golf Sierra. And looking down at the iPad here, this is our route going to Opelaka, so kind of hugging the coastline towards Louisiana, and then after Louisiana, we dart across the Gulf over to Fort Myers in a Sarasota area, Fort Myers, and then down onto the Palms to arrival into Opelaka. So number one, Golf Sierra, contact Houston Center 124.7, good day. 24-7, one Golf Sierra, good day. Center, good morning, Phenom 151, Golf Sierra, 11.2, climbing 16,000. Phenom 151, Golf Sierra, Houston Center, climb, maintain, fall over 230. Climb, maintain 230, one Golf Sierra. All right, everybody, we are going to enjoy the cruise up to 41,000. We'll catch you guys in a little bit once we get a little bit closer to Opelaka. Here across Kurt at maintain 6,000. Miami altimeter is, um, I see, 2,900 or 5. Kurt at maintain 6,000, 9 or 5. We'll go, Sierra. All right, everybody, it's getting busy. We're on the descent into Opelaka. We just crossed over the west coast of Florida. Sending through 18,000 now. Yeah, jet card uh, 116 traffic, uh, 1 to 2 o'clock. We're going to try and get to and 7-3 descending to 1,000 feet above. Number 151 Golf Sierra, Quidreg Rosal, descending to maintain 6,000, 2,000 feet of minute or greater in the descent. Razzle down to 6,000, 2,000 feet or greater, 1 Golf Sierra, thanks. Number 151 Golf Sierra, contact Miami Approach, 120.5. 20.5, 1 Golf Sierra, see ya. Okay, we got Kilo, okay. and we're planned for the ILS, 9 left. Miami Approach, Phenom 151 Golf Sierra, 13.9, descending 6,000, we have Kilo, planning on the ILS, 9 left. November uh, 151 Golf Sierra, Miami Approach, descending to maintain 3,000. And a 3,000, 1 Golf Sierra. Approach, American 2945, airport site. American 2945. American 2945, how do you hear me? You're loud and clear now, American 2963. You hear me? <laughs> uh, look up the next frequency. Approach, see. American 2963, how copy? Jeez, uh, let's, get, let's, get, let's get guard, it's gonna let's, be... get, let's get guard going, yeah. that's where it's going to be next. Land Ecuador, four, uh, Land Ecuador 612, how do you hear me? Loud and clear. Miami, how do you hear 2963 American? Ecuador 612, I hear you loud and clear. I don't think he's American land Ecuador. Land Ecuador 612? Yeah, he's not copying us. He has a problem. Miami, land Ecuador 612? Go to 2485, land Ecuador. Say again? <laughs> 2485, go to that frequency. All those watchers. That's why you monitor guard at all times. <laughs> hey, approach uh, 151 Golf Sierra. Uh, 1205 is having some problems with the radios. Is this the next stop for us? 51 Golf Sierra, Miami Approach. You have to stay with me. Turn left heading in 080 and descend to maintain 2000. There's traffic 1 o'clock, 2 miles, Same south altitude, altitude, south 3 2 miles. Miles. Okay, 080 zero, zero, Golf Sierra. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Right into the front. Right right there. Guy, yeah, he's going, he's going, he's going that way, I think. Yep. Traffic. One uh, car. Uh, two five two five seven miles. Two 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 miles.
Air One Golf Sierra, clear direct OK, descend and maintain 1,600. Okay. Direct OK and 1,600, look off Sierra. Yeah. It was down. There it is. There. This guy's here. Yep, yeah, we're going to watch that. Tower is uh, 346. Air One Golf Sierra, cross OK to 1,600, clear to ILS, runway 9 left approach. OK and 1,600, clear for the ILS 9 or left. 151 Golf Sierra. All right, 257 Fox Kilo, Raider contact 9, west of Opal Lock, at the altitude now, and your type aircraft. Air One Golf Sierra, kind of Opal Lock at Tower 134.67. Have a good day. Over to Tower, you have a great day, One Golf Sierra. Opalaka Tower, feed on 151 Golf Sierra, ILS 9 or left. Number 151 Golf Sierra, Opalaka Tower, runway 9 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 9 left, 151 Golf Sierra, thanks. Alright, gears coming down, lights are on, roll it up, flap pitch to go, wind chills are off, all the ice is off, and we're clear to land. 500. Alright, it's enough of that. Autopilot. 400. It's got smoother now? Yeah. It's not so fidgety. Alright, we'll start slowing back in here. Settle it in. I think, there's a little, I think there's a little more wind than we Definitely. Is. Yeah, we're at 12 knots now. Could be a little gusty. Minimum. See it Minimum. Longer. Oh, yeah. 200. Birds. Don't do that. Oof. Jeez. 100. Good day. Right of Fox over to ground. One Golf Sierra, good day. Ground, Phenom 151, Golf Sierra clearing 9 left on Foxtrot. We're going to Fontaine Blue. One Golf Sierra, Palaka ground, taxi Fontaine Blue via straight ahead on Foxtrot. Left at Romeo, right at Echo, left at Tango. Foxtrot, Romeo, Echo, Tango. Got it. Foxtrot, Romeo, Echo, Tango. One Golf Sierra. All right, everybody. Welcome to Miami Opalaka, the land of Steve O. Well, everybody, hope you enjoyed that flight. Peyton, nice job with the flying. This was awesome. And uh, good luck with the rest of the ferry down to Brazil. Get we'll catch you guys in the next flight vlog. Thanks for watching. Smash that thumbs up button. And uh, check out Flying Eyes down below in the description. And then uh, once again, thanks uh, for Trevor for everything with all the four flight stuff. So, again, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll catch you in the next one. Okay. That's all she wrote. One hundred. Two years ago. Oh, okay. Well, just wondering. Yeah. Coming up in uh, Bar River, I took uh, two to Bar River and two to Muskoka. Wow. Those are some wow. names I don't even know where they are. Where, where are they? Canada. Ah, okay. okay. gathered two flies in Trinidad and Tobago and we're going to be uh, ex exporting them to Brazil as a part of our export process.